Have you ever had lunch with a business associate or client who was noticeably lacking in social graces and table manners? Or perhaps you feel uneasy when you have to take clients to a business dinner or lunch? How you handle yourself at the dining table gives potential clients and customers a sense of how you will handle their business. A lack of competence at the table suggests a lack of competence in other areas. This course will give you the poise and confidence to handle yourself professionally in any dining situation. The content of this course is meant to be used as a general guideline for business dining etiquette in North America. It is important to understand that different cultures and countries adhere to different rules of etiquette. It is therefore advisable to research cultural and etiquette differences when dining with people from other countries. During this course, you can pause at any time by clicking on this button. From the main menu, you can jump to any section in the program. Ready? Now let's get started. The Business Meal The business lunch or dinner is more than a meal. It's a time when business relationships are developed, job interviews are conducted, networking is done, and contracts are signed. In fact, over 40% of all business deals are finalized over a meal. Hosting a successful business meal takes more than picking up the tab. The first thing the host wants to do is extend the invitation. Place settings differ depending on the formality of a meal. If you know the components of a formal place setting, you will never be at a loss navigating any table setting. At a formal dinner, you will find a place card above the plate, which will indicate where you are to sit. Never move your place card, as it is considered rude to do so. Directly in front of you at the table will be the charger plate with a napkin folded on it. A menu card may be placed on the napkin or above the plate. The menu card tells you what is being served and the wine that is paired with each course. This formal table setting is set for six courses. An appetizer, soup, fish course, entree, salad course, and dessert. Salad can be served either before or after the entree, and the position of the salad knife and fork changes depending on when it is served. When A toast is short and simple and usually lasts no more than a few minutes. There are traditionally two or three toasts that are given at a dinner. The first toast is given by the host and is the welcoming toast. It is not appropriate to take a sip of wine before the first toast. The host may rise and welcome everyone or may remain seated if the group is small. Everyone drinks to this toast. If you do not drink alcohol, it is appropriate to raise a glass of water. The second toast is a toast to the guest of honor. This toast is offered when the dessert course is served and is usually offered with champagne. The host rises and proposes a toast to the guest of honor by acknowledging accomplishments, work relationships, or a special occasion. The host and everyone present except the guest of honor should drink to this toast. It is important that you never drink to yourself when being toasted. The guest of honor responds with a nod of his or her head and a simple thank you. The guest of honor may choose to respond to the toast after the guests have finished drinking the toast to him or her. The guest of honor would thank the host, and in return, toast the host. Everyone present except the host would drink to the toast. Difficult food Frequently Asked Questions